In this illustration, we will discuss about the stationary wave formation by de Broglie waves of electron. We are given in the situation that in a lattice, atoms are arranged in a one dimensional array. And we can assume that de Broglie wave associated with an electron can form a standing wave between the atoms with nodes at each atom. It is found that such a stationary wave is obtained when the distance between atoms is 2 angstrom and similar wave is again found when it increases to 2.5 angstrom and not for any intermediate separation. And we are equal to find the energy of electron and minimum separation between atoms for which the wave can be obtained. Here in situation we can see for a stationary wave formation, the distance between the atomic sites must be a multiple of lambda by 2 because if these are the two neighboring atoms, and a stationary wave is produced with nodes at each of these atoms. Say, for example, three loops are being formed. I'm just taking an example. If these are three loops, where the each loop is having a wavelength, a length lambda by two, then we can write if the separation between the two atomic sides is d one. We can write d1 must be equals to n times lambda by 2, which is given here as 2 angstrom. And for next higher separation, say if it is d2, then we must use as electron energy is constant, its de Broglie wavelength is constant. So for next higher separation it must become n plus 1 lambda by 2 as one loop will increase one side is here and other side is at a distance d2 such that instead of three four loops are being formed over here so just we can say four loops say but it can be any if it is n this will be n plus 1 i'm just taking an example as three or four and here the value of next higher separation is 2.5 angstrom for which we can say there is no intermediate separation at which the loop is found because nodes must be obtained at both of the atomic sides so which are adjoining to each other. So from these equations if these are 1 and 2 we can write 2 minus 1 will result lambda by 2 is equals to 0 0.5 angstrom. So here the de Broglie wavelength we are getting is 1 angstrom that is 10 to power minus 10 meter. And by de Broglie's hypothesis, here we can write momentum of electron P can be given as h by lambda, which is 6.63 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 divided by de Broglie wavelength we are getting is 10 to the power minus 10. So the momentum we are getting is 6.63 .6 into 10 to the power minus 24 newton second. And uh, corresponding to the momentum, if we calculate the energy of uh, electron, we calculate this energy in electron volt, then this can be given as p square by 2m. So we can write it 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 24 whole square divided by twice the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31. And we should also divide it with the electron charge to convert it in electron volt, that is. 1 by 1 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So the numerical value of the electron energy we are getting is 150.6 electron volt. That is the result of this problem. Here, if we wish to calculate the minimum separation between atoms for which such a wave can be obtained, then we can write for a stationary wave to be obtained.
मिनिमम सेपरेशन बिटवीन टू नोट्स बिकॉज वी आर गिवन दैट ऑन एवरी एटॉमिक साइट अ नोट इज फॉर्म दिस वी नो इट इज लेमडा बाई टू and the value of lambda by 2 is 0.5 angstrom that is another result of this problem